Hi all, welcome to Edu's Pharma Academy. We have learned tablets in the pharmaceutics. We have learned the tablets in the portion of the pharmaceutics. We have learned the tablets in the portion of the pharmaceutics. Next topic, important topic, which is a very easy topic. We have learned the mark score of the topic. Capsules. Okay, so, what are capsules? What are the capsules in the heading? What are the capsules? Hard and soft gelatin capsules. So, different types of capsules. We will explain to you all about it. Then, we will learn the different sizes of capsules. Then, the filling of capsules. The handling and storage of capsules. The special applications of capsules. What are we learning to do? Then, we will learn the capsules. First one, capsules. What do you mean by capsules? We will learn the definition of tablets. Like that, what do you mean by capsules? So, capsules are also solid unit dosage form. It is also solid unit dosage form of medicament in which the drug substance is enclosed in a water-soluble shell or envelope. What drug is it? In a water-soluble shell or envelope, it is enclosed in a solid dosage form. Capsules are not. Okay. The drug is solid or liquid. Okay, so what do you mean by capsule? It's a solid dosage form of medicament in which the medicament is enclosed in a water-soluble shell or envelope and this shell or <coughs> envelope is called a gelatin or this envelope is made up of gelatin. Okay, so what are capsules? But then two types of capsules are there. You can see hard gelatin capsules and soft gelatin capsules. The difference is in our picture. Hard gelatin capsules. This is hard gelatin capsule because our shell is hard. And this is soft gelatin capsule. Clear? So that is about capsules. What are the capsules? Solid dosage form in which the medicament is enclosed in a water soluble shell or envelope. Okay, then, we will talk about the gelatin and the gelatin. We will talk about the gelatin and the gelatin. We will talk about the gelatin and the gelatin. We will talk about the gelatin and the gelatin. We will talk about the gelatin and the gelatin. Now, what do we call the gelatin? It's a soluble substance. It's a soluble substance. But next to the point, it's an inert substance. Inert. We will talk about the drug and close it. But drug in the activity is not the same. Gelatin is the same thing in the body. It's an inert substance. Then, it's an animal origin substance. Animals are the same. Usually, bones are the same. Skin is the same. Collagen fibers are the same. So, gelatin is obtained from the bone, skin and collagen of animals. It is soluble substance. Soluble in water. It is also an inert substance. Okay, then two types of gelatin we have available. And then type A gelatin and type B gelatin. Type A and type B gelatin. But it is simple. A gelatin is derived from acid treated precursor. Precursor is acid treated. Type A gelatin and it is obtained from pork skin. It is acid treated gelatin. It is obtained from pork skin. And also one important point, the isoelectric pH is 9.0. Okay, now we have type A gelatin, it is derived from acid treated. Acid which is treated, but that is isoelectric point in the basic level, 9 level. Okay, so it is derived from acid treated precursor, isoelectric point is, isoelectric pH is 9.0. And it is obtained from pork skin. And then we have type A gelatin you see in the it imparts elasticity and plasticity, clarity to the shell. Our shell is elasticity, elastic then plasticity and clarity type A gelatin. Then, what do you mean with type B gelatin? So, A is derived from acid reader. So, B is derived from base. Okay. So, it is derived from alkali or base treated precursor. Then, that is the isoelectric pH 4.7. Where is it? Acid treated. Even if it is acid treated. Acid treated is that the isoelectric pH is the basic level. It is the opposite. It is alkali treated but isoelectric pH is in the acidic range. That is 4.7. Opposite is the opposite. And it is obtained from the bone. And it imparts toughness to the shell. 
toughness kodukunnada type b gelatin appo ee rendu heading onna namukku endakke kitti nokke type a gelatinous norka a gelatin a gelatinous acid treated it is obtained from animal endayirunnu bone alle and isoelectric ph is 9 and it is used to give uh, plasticity clarity and elasticity to the shell okay then type b gelatin b is from in the base treated, the base treated and it is obtained from animal bond, B4 bond, and the isoelectric pH is 4.7. It imparts toughness to the shell. We questions then another important point is bloom strength or gel strength. <laughs> what do you mean by gel strength or bloom strength? We have to gelatin use the capsule in the shell. Even if it is hard gelatin capsule or soft gelatin capsule, shell in the gelatin. But gelatin de, our shell in a strength we measure in the bloom strength or gel strength. It's simply barya. So it is measured in the use of uh, bloom strength to measure in the first the instrument in a pair bloom gelometer. It is measured by using bloom gelometer. Then what do you mean by bloom strength? It indicates the strength of <coughs> Cross-linked gelatin molecules. Gelatin molecules are cross-linked. Cross-linking is strength. We have to do cross-linking. We have to do shell. Otherwise, we have to do Okay. So, the strength of cross-linked gelatin molecules are called a bloom strength or gel strength. It is measured by using bloom gelometer. And the normal range is 150 to 200 grams. We bloom strength in the range. That is very important. 150 to 250 gram. The bloom strength of gelatin capsule is called is 150 to 250 gram. Okay. But bloom strength then there is no cross-linked gelatin molecule in the strength. Bloom strength on indicate another and it is used. I mean it is measured by using bloom gelometer and the normal value is 150 to 250 gram. Then viscosity. <coughs> Gelatin is a liquid. We have a liquid in the process of a solid capsule shell. Now, we will talk about the next part. Then, the viscosity is a liquid gelatin. Viscosity is a liquid gelatin. It indicates the molecular chain length. The gelatin molecule is a chain length. It is usually 25 to 30 millipoise. Millipoise or poison is a viscosity unit. Viscosity is a measure. So, viscosity of gelatin is 25 to 30 to millipoise. Clear? We will talk about gelatin is of two types. Type A and type B. A is acid treated. It is obtained from animal skin or pork skin. Isoelectric pH is 9.0. Then type B is alkali treated or base treated. It is obtained from animal bone. Then isoelectric point is 4.7. Then bloom strength. What do you mean by bloom strength? It is a strength of cross-linked gelatin molecule and it is measured by using the bloom gelometer. Gel strength is the gelometer you see. And then the value is very important. 150 to 250 gram. Then viscosity, gelatin viscosity is 25 to 30 to millipoise. Okay. Then I will just to bar make another bloom strength that 150 to 250 gram. Viscosity 25 to 30 to millipoise. Then iron can iron content extra bar you want to iron content is 15 ppm, 15 parts per million. Then <coughs> just to do moisture content, we will discuss it. Now, for moisture content, we will Hard uh, gelatin capsule, hard gelatin icot, soft gelatin icot, empty capsule icot. Moisture or bad icot in Alabatilla. When you go to the Kinamal medicine, Kai came and did a capsule edicot, and then a Kai Pidikimathane, moist tie other Alim Bona really like a poor angle. A patient compliance of Varicale, who moisture content a pretty limited iron. Petri and our limited Navada Parana. This is also important. Hello, questions. So, empty capsule, 12 to 15 percentage. Then, hard gelatin capsule, 30 to 45 percentage. Soft gelatin capsule is 10 to 15 percentage of moisture content. Allowed limit. Any parangal, could allow an item. Padilla. 